favorites would be Unlocked, the musical. It's actually a tie between Unlocked and Women Who Map the Stars. And the importance of being earnest. The Women Who Map the Stars, Unlocked. A Man of No Importance. Part two. Equus. I just loved getting a chance to workshop a brand new piece of theater. I learned so much about acting, where my intentions come from, and everything. And I made a group of girlfriends that I will literally have forever. Shout out to you guys. anything that Vanessa taught. Scene study with Andrew Harris. Practicum and stagecraft. It's lighting practicum. Musical theater scene study with Carrie Lipkin. And lighting prac. Advanced acting with Dana. It's because I was taking it at the same time as Women Who Mapped the Stars, which was my first straight play. Um, so I was already in the mindset to learn so many things. And so I think that I um, really got a lot out of that class and they they really went hand in hand very well and it was just super fun <laughs> so we got a chance to really dive in and go another layer in um character and character arc through uh through a scene and throughout a show definitely um women who met the stars in the fall Acting in front of people and being in USM Productions. Doing just a variety of different roles. Uh, I'd probably say the people. Uh, what always brings me back to theater is community. Um, and I'm so grateful for all of the people that I've been able to meet and connect with because of USM Theater. Uh, that being all of the teachers that I've worked with as well as my peers. And getting to share with so many people what I find myself to be good at. Most of all, I'm going to miss my friends. I'm also really going to miss the atmosphere and all of the people, but every single person who I have become close with at school is going to have a very special place in my heart. I'm gonna miss just the novelty of it. I mean, college only comes around once and uh, I've enjoyed each semester for different reasons, so I'm gonna miss that. I'm going to miss the camaraderie and the sense of community um, between everybody in the theater. That is a really hard question. There's so much I'm going to miss about being a theater major, but um, some of the biggest things are I'm going to miss feeling loved and supported by my teachers every day. If I had a problem, there was always somebody there to help me or talk to me through my problems. I'm also going to miss just walking into school and seeing all of my friends all throughout the building. It's just such a comforting feeling. And I'm definitely going to miss performing on Russell Hall stage because when you perform somewhere for four years, you get really comfortable in a space, so it's going to be different finding new spaces to get comfortable in. I'm going to miss seeing everybody all the time. It's being a theater major is so different because people hang out, you know, you see people around. It's not like you got one class with someone and then you don't see them again till next week. They're always around and it's just so different from the real world, you know? You don't get that a lot. And so having all of these familiar faces that you get to see all the time, every day, it's always been such a nice thing to have because not everybody has it. And I think it lets us as peers form better relationships, better friendships, better forms of communication. So I'm definitely gonna miss seeing everybody around and like having the green room and stuff like getting to hang out with everybody in workshop getting to see everybody's face hang out with the teachers you know it was really nice getting to become everyone's friend and just gaining this big family you know and it's something i'm really gonna miss you know I'm definitely gonna be trying to stay in the area so i can visit everybody and come back and see everyone at school but you know i think it's like it's like a once in a lifetime kind of thing to get to have this kind of a community uh, especially this early in my life, you know, and it's something I definitely never took for granted. I am going to miss performing the most. I liked having opportunities to showcase my talents. Probably the people, again, um, I'm going to continue doing theater, I'm going to continue doing lights, I'm going to continue 
trying to improve myself and, and learn as much as I can about uh, my craft, but I'm not going to continue to see all of my peers on a daily basis anymore. Uh, so uh, I'll definitely miss everyone that I don't get to see as often. So the thing I guess I'm gonna miss most about being a theater major at USM is just how close you are to your colleagues. I mean, this is a major where you get to be around people for, you know, you're sometimes around them for 12, 14 hours a day. Uh, and you see them for, you know, four years, five years. And it's um, an experience that, especially as a theater professional, you don't get on the outside world. You see your friends in shows maybe, I don't know, uh, once every two, three years, if you're lucky. Uh, and it's a lot more separate, and so I really valued that time that I got to spend uh, just in it with the same group of people uh, learning and growing every day. My name is Ben Walker Dubay. My name is Blake Wright. My name is Meg. My name is Jackie Condon. My name is Cassie Thompson. My name is Michael Spaulding. My name is Calvin Sprague. My name is Remy Dickinson. My name is Ian Carlson, and I am USM Theater, Class of 2020. And I am USM Theater, Class of 2020. I'm a USM Theater major of Class 2020. And I am a USM Theater major, Class of 2020. And I am USM Theater, Class of 2020. I am USM Theater, Class of 2020. And I am... USM Theater Class of 2020. And I am USM Theater Class of 2020. And I am USM Theater Class of 2020.